So this was a really fun build, actually. I wanted to build a comb that would actually fit in the side slot of the Wazoo cap. So the way it works is it kind of sits with this side up top. And it's actually incredibly effective. It I can't feel it whatsoever. And I've also wrapped a couple hair ties around it. Now these are very useful for a lot of different things. But we already tried the comb. My daughter, my five-year-old daughter, approves. It's certainly an excellent little addition. So now I can have something that I'm actually going to use on a regular basis. I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten a comb or forgotten to brush my five-year-old's hair. And this is going to cover a couple of bases along with the uh, bobby pins here. I think we got a pretty good start. Um, so hopefully more videos coming on the Wazoo cap in the near future. But I really like just this little setup here. Hope you enjoy it as well. So anybody that has a five-year-old girl knows you've got to have a hairbrush and hair ties, preferably. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mold this to fit in the side pouch of the Wazoo cap. So first thing I'm going to do is heat up some water. We'll wait till that boils. And then I'm going to actually mold it, and then I'm going to cut the comb so that it actually fits. So it'll probably be like, like these. So I gotta fold it somewhere along the edge. So what we're gonna is a trial, right? With an inexpensive comb I wasn't even gonna throw away. But we're gonna try it and uh, see if it works. So if this is made of PETG, which it's likely to be because that's a food grade plastic a lot of times that are used in things that people touch, um, the melting point is about 180 degrees Celsius. But the good news is is that it becomes moldable at about half that, which is obviously this is going to exceed that point. So if I'm lucky, if I let this sit for a little bit, it'll actually work and I'll be able to mold the plastic, which is what I'm going to work on in just a second with some gloves on, of course. So there we go. So I think I bent it enough. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a line across on the comb so it should fit in the end. So we're going to try that see if it works from there. Now it's doing this a little bit. Oh, he might run to his knees. Mom? Mom runs on knees. 